だおはよう。Today, I'm gonna study Japanese. みんなの日本語。My favorite YouTuber is posting something new. You know what? I'm gonna study tomorrow. Who you watch YouTube, even you sit at your desk. You, who can't move from your bed. And you, who said you do it today, but you never do anything forever. I know you want to change, and I know it's not that easy to change. I was completely like that before, and I was tired of myself every day. I was like, I lost to myself again today. Oh well, this is me. But you're watching this video, so this is time for you to change. Don't worry, I'm with you. Even I was able to change, and you will know how to change after you watch this video. I hate to study, to be honest, and I'm really bad at studying every day. But I also know that you have to study every day if you want to master any language. So, what kind of mind do you need to be able to continue learning? Today, I would like to tell you how. So, first thing to do is set a specific goal. First of all, why are you studying Japanese? Please think about it. I think it's because you like Japan, or you like Japanese culture, or maybe because you like anime. And I think there's another reason too why you guys are studying Japanese. But think of more specific r e a s o n Why do you want to be able to speak Japanese? I like Japan, I want to work in Japan in five years. Or, I like Japanese culture, so I want to go to Japan in the future and make a Japanese friend. Or, Death Note is my favorite anime, so I want to understand all of it without subtitles. Okay, now that's a more specific reason. And let's focus on the first goal. For example, I like Japan, so I want to work in Japan within five years. In order to fulfill this concrete dream of I love Japan and I want to work in Japan within five years, it means that it's necessary to acquire JLPT N2 within five years. If you're a beginner in Japanese now, you definitely want to get the first level of N5 within one year. Well, it's better to achieve it as soon as possible, for example, within a half a year. It will be easier to make a plan if you set a deadline for each goal like this. By when will you achieve this goal? So, if you were to get N5 within a half a year, what would you have to do? First, learn hiragana, katakana, and memorize words, grammars, and kanji. You also have to practice listening and speaking and solve as many N5 past questions as possible. So many things to do. As you make your list, you will realize that there's no time for being lazy. If you can list up to this point, do the same again more and more specifically. Like, so you have to learn hiragana and katakana grammars and kanji, then set a more specific goal like master hiragana and katakana and learn 100 words within a month. And next month, we'll focus on kanji and grammar. Learn at least five kanji per day. Set what to do in more detail. And the next important thing is don't rush the basics. For some learners, the three Japanese writing systems can be intimidating. But if you focus to learning to speaking and skip reading and writing, you'll be missing out a big piece of learning language. Besides, getting started with hiragana, katakana, kanji is really quite doable. Hiragana and katakana aren't hard to master. You can find many free resources on the internet for these two alphabets. And it takes only two or three weeks to learn. So let's move on to kanji, a nightmare for many learners. Kanji characters are based on Chinese characters and are often almost identical on their partner words in Chinese. This writing system is the most difficult part of Japanese learning as there are over 2,000 different characters to learn and many kanjis h a s several different readings. So,、well, what is the best way to learn kanji? Kanji is definitely hard, so how to learn them in an easy way? 
or are there any time-saving method to master kanji? As I introduced before, please try using the highly recommended app, Mochi Mochi app. This is an app using spaced repetition. It is easy to forget kanji without reading spaced repetition. Let's have a look at the forgetting curve here. This shows how our retention of knowledge weakens over time without reviewing. Space repetition is research proven the most powerful technique for strengthening one's memory. Remember all the kanjis you crammed the night before your exam but faded away a few days later? In opposition to the cramming method, by which you can learn kanji in a short period but will forget soon afterward. Space repetition method asks you to revise kanji and vocabulary at systematic intervals. So, Mochi Mochi app is a Japanese learning app that uses space repetition system, helps memorize kanji and vocabulary fast and effectively with golden time. I'll show you guys how to use this Mochi Mochi app. Mochi Mochi! So, let's learn five kanji and vocabulary together. When you tap the card, it's gonna flip and show you the meaning. So, now you know the meaning. Choose the correct one. Type how to read in hiragana before you forget. And now you guys all know how to read this kanji. Anohito. Next, the meaning of anohito is that person. Again, choose the correct one. Anohito. And of course, you know how to read this kanji, right? Anohito. Anohito. Gakusei. Let's do one more together. This means student. Do you remember how to read it? Ga ku se i. Gakusei. Well done. And Mochi Mochi app will notificate your golden time. So no need to worry even though if you are bad at continuing study. I think you have experienced such like you learn new word but then three days later, you don't remember anything, right? Spaced repetition study method will solve all of these problems. And I think everyone already knows that you need to study every day to learn something new. And it's not only about Japanese. For example, if you want to be able to play the piano, you have to practice every single day to improve your piano skill. So this story is not only about Japanese, it's for every day. Continuing every day is the most important thing to do. But reality is many people are struggling to continue every day. And why? Because they don't have a clear goal. If you don't have a clear goal, there's no motivation to continue every day. So just simply set a clear goal. And I was that kind of person who can't continue every day. I always have excuses like I'm tired, I'm busy, I don't have time. But once you set the goal and the limit time to achieve that goal, you will notice that there's no time for excuses. All you have to do is just do it. And for those who has a weak will and are not good at continuing, it's time to study using spaced repetition. There is a wonderful app that will notify you. I think there is no way to use this, so please give it a try. And another way to continue learning every day is you need to do something fun, interesting. So use anime, Japanese drama, your favorite Japanese shows to learn Japanese. That's also a very good way to learn. But as I'm always saying, just watching is nothing. You can't learn from just watching the film or videos or um, you're just listening Japanese, but you're not learning. If you want to learn, listen and pause and write down a word that you don't know and output, say it aloud many, many, many times. In that way, you can learn a lot from anime and drama too. And also practice with native speakers a really, really good way to improve your Japanese skill. You can learn the real native Japanese, not from the textbook. If you have any Japanese friend in your country, that's the best. Just talk to them and ask them to speak in Japanese as much as possible. There are so many ways to practice with native speakers. So, summary, even if you are busy at work or tired at school, the trick to keep studying is to set clear goals. Determine a deadline to achieve. Write down everything you need to do. Determine a plan to achieve this in more details by when. 
And after that, use an app such like Mochi Mochi app and just do it. And guys, I think there are less people in the world who can study every day. And I'm here to help you. So let's give it a try together. If you think this video was useful, please subscribe and leave comments or push like button. And see you guys in the next video. Bye! またね!